Today on The Topping Show, Bud Light makes a new can design, but will it boost sales? Alex Jones claims the deep state will try to assassinate Donald Trump. Aston Martin teams up with an EV company. YouTube may launch an online gaming platform. Infinity is debuting a new logo. IBM to buy Aptio for $4.6 billion. Ron DeSantis is embracing mainstream media. Ex-Navy SEAL is running for Montana Senate. And Lordstown Motors is currently filing for bankruptcy. All that and much, much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of the Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, see the founder at least twice a day. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner and you need a little assistance, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Now, going on to the business blunder of the day. You have Lordstown Motors, he, they are declaring bankruptcy. Now, they're a Ohio-based EV truck manufacturer, well, attempted manufacturer, and their stock actually peaked at $618.75 per share. And that was on August 12th, 2022. Now, this also should be a business blunder and awakening for people who keep investing in these EV companies and tech companies with zero hard data or hard evidence of having a stable business. At that time, I don't even think they even produced a single bloody truck, which maybe they had a prototype, but they weren't delivering these trucks. But it's just the fear of missing out, the FOMO. People thought this was gonna be the next Tesla. And of course, Tesla famously became one of the most successful companies in history. The only startup automotive company to be successful in the past 100 years was Chrysler. And that was a long time ago. And even they bit the bullet, unfortunately. And they sold out to European company uh, Fiat last time they went bankrupt. And Fiat then rebranded where it is now known as Stellantis, which is a holding company similar to General Motors, where they own multiple brands, with Stellantis owning multiple brands across the globe. So Tesla is a huge automotive achievement. And everyone is chasing that high because they want to invest and win because they missed out on that. That's my, one of my theories of why so many people are throwing money at these new automotive companies and EV companies when they're not stable. Rivian is more stable than this company for now. They're actually sending units out finally. So physical products are being shipped to the end users. And some people might say, oh, these are tech companies. They don't need a physical product. They're collecting data. They're doing all this other stuff. Tesla is. These other companies, they are. there's a tech part to the company. I understand the logic of them being treated as a tech company, but they also need to make money. And I know companies can lose money for quite some time, but you need to be on the right path. And with Lordstown, you had multiple companies investing foolishly, and it was a maybe a heartfelt story. You had General Motors that was shutting down this automotive plant, and someone wanted to step in and save those jobs. And at the time, I thought it was a great thing because, again, we, we all want to try to support each other, make sure we all have jobs, so we can provide for ourselves, our family, our community. And this was them taking over the old General Motors plant over in Lordstown, Ohio. They found this company back in 2019. But you also had multiple analysts looking at this company and even critiquing it back then. So you had Hindenburg, which they were the company that broke the news and broke the story around the BS company known as Nikola, which claimed to be a hydrogen-based truck company. And it turns out Trevor Noah was just a, or was it Trevor Noah? Trevor, where was it? His first name was Trevor. He looks like a douche, but uh, pardon the French or medical term. But it turned out to be completely vaporware. So Hindenburg has a track record of breaking these stories and actually getting down to the nitty gritty details and knowing what's really going on with these companies. It's all vaporware, which is a pejorative term in the IT industry where it doesn't actually exist. It's just an idea. Now. During the last analysis, Hindenburg criticized Lordstown Motors by saying, quote, no revenue and no sellable product, which we believe has misled investors on both its demand and production capabilities, unquote. 110% correct. And again, now their stock is about, is under a dollar. It's fluctuating, but they said they're going bankrupt. They're desperately looking for a buyer. And a lot of people are starting to point to the partnership with Foxconn. Foxconn is perhaps the largest unknown electronics company on the planet. A lot of people don't know them, but 
you interacted with their products, I can guarantee it. Not only do they manufacture a large, great number of components that actually go into the computers and the cell phones, what have you, they also assemble, they make the iPhone. That's probably the most famous contract that they've gotten over the years. So they're a huge multinational electronics, electronics company and they assemble many great things. And they thought since, you know, EV vehicles have a lot of electronics in them, they thought, hey, let's do a partnership. I believe they put about $400 million into the Lordstown Motors EV. And they had some contingencies with the company. Apparently, if Lordstown EV didn't keep their stock price above a dollar, then there'd be some contingencies for Foxconn. And they're actually blaming each other for the demise of the company. So, of course, there'll be full stories and lawsuits. We'll, we'll know no more over the next coming days. But it's not too surprising to see this company just crash and burn when they, they didn't have enough capabilities or cash or actual resources to put together these trucks and really get them shipped out to all these end users. So it, it is sad to see. I mean, the odds of someone swooping in and buying them, I think, are pretty low. I mean, they it's already a precarious situation. We have so many people invest in the company, all these different partnerships. And why would you do that when you just buy out a more successful company, at least Rivian. Rivian has a little economic uncertainty with their cash flow and their deliveries, but they are producing units and they are successfully delivering them to end users, which in terms of a business and EV and automotive business, that's the biggest hump. Getting that product out for the first time, that's a huge milestone. Hitting that milestone, Rivian has showed us it can do it. Now they need to show they can do it on a bigger scale and profitable wise. But when it comes to Lordstown EV, Perhaps it's just an age-old saying or age-old issue of you know, over-promising and under-delivering, under but it's sad that they're going bankrupt, but all this has got to be the business builder of the day. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Cannot thank you enough for taking the time to like, subscribe, and comment. Each one of those things greatly help out the video. Trying to get up to 3,000 subscribers this month. going to be a big milestone, and can't thank you enough for supporting us. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.